of boxing in Nigeria. Uh, Remy, good to have you on, on Sports Tonight. It's a long time. I'm honored to be with you. Mm. Very long, but then, I mean, it's okay. It's just for the betterment of the sport. That's why the little gap. Yeah, okay. What's this? That's your, that's, uh, what's this? What, what title is this? Uh, this is WBF title. I fought for this title in Atlanta, Georgia last oh, year. Oh, Atlanta again? Yeah, last We've year. We've been to right? Atlanta on the show tonight. Oh, yeah. That yeah, that was great. great. Mm. And I hope Nigeria as well will win tomorrow in Atlanta as well. Mm. Because mm. Uh, it's a place for, it's a place that is always in our, in our mind. 1996, Nigeria, they did it. Olympic the gold time. medal there, yeah. 2013, gifted gold. I did it in Atlanta to be the first African, first Nigeria to fight for the WBF title. Mm. And I came out victorious. Remy, how significant is this for professional boxing in Nigeria? Oh, it's a very big one for the country, I mean, uh, and for the boxers, actually. Uh, if our young men can, on their own, go out and do this nation great, I mm. wonder why the nation will not be ready to at least support other sports and all the sports. So it's a very good one for the sport of boxing and uh, for sports in general uh, for the country. Mm. And it shows that with the necessary support, our boys, our girls, can do better. Talk to us about your fight and how you became a world champion. We saw a little bit of it, uh, of that, a little bit of it flashed across the screen just now. Tell us about it. How did it happen? And um, how, how did you get ready for the fight? What role did, did the Nigerian government play, for example, in helping to make you a champion? Um, I want to say a very big thank you to the Nigerian committee in Atlanta, Georgia, to the um, Nigerian ambassador to the uh, U.S. in Atlanta. I want to say a very big thank you to them. And for me, before I get to this stage, I work hard to get to this stage. Uh, with my resume, I was not supposed to be there, but mm. they feel I'm ripe to get on the big stage, on the world, world stage. So um, they put me up there with somebody from Germany, Tom Richard. So as soon as they call up, they say, OK, we want to put you to, 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 to fight for WBF. Let's see what you can do. And I really work hard for that. I train hard for that. I do all I can do to make sure I give, um, I came out victorious and I make my country proud as well and make my family proud. Yeah, I mean, you, you are involved in uh, promoting the game I mean, for a long time. Um, what can you tell us about this? And do we still have more champions? How, what role can you play in helping to turn out more of uh, gifted calls so that we can produce more champions? Well, the MBBFC, of which I'm the secretary and I have Dr. Gordon Kanu as the president, Dr. Gordon Kanu is the president of the Nigerian Boxing. Mm. We are doing our best to at least bring boxing back to the uh, front line of sporting activities in this country. And uh, the role, apart from being the secretary, mm. my company also goes into promotion. And I'm still pleading that we need more promoters to come. It should not be a one-man stop. Fr freeze and trills. Freeze and trills, yes. Freeze and trills. Yes, yes. My company still does promotion. Mm. I mean, being the secretary, if there are no promotional shows, then what am I being the mm. secretary for? So I still try my best possible to at least uh, promote and then make sure that these boys are well, uh, well engaged and uh, they are out of uh, any uh, shoddy uh, stores, you know. So basically what we need to do is to plead with government to show interest in all sports and so that the corporate organizations can come in because without sponsorship, mm. we cannot do anything. So the bane of boxing in this country presently is the lack of government interest in other sports, not just boxing, and their sponsorship because as soon as that comes in, we can get our boys to be what beaters again. As the is doing very well in Ghana, mm. understand? There's uh, King Davis in Menugu, who's going to be fighting also anytime in April for the uh, WBO title. So we've got boys who are ready to make this nation proud, but the country should be ready to at least put the enabling environment there for them to excel. Mm. And it will help to reduce crime. If sports is generally promoted, not just boxing. Don't get me. I'm not saying boxer that the mm, but, uh, mm. all the sports. If we make sure that, like you're saying, that uh, the people, uh, the commissioner for sports in Gombe State. If all those boys, 26 teams in the, what time would they have for uh, uh, boxing, for athletics? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not even that they are even putting 26 team in the league is good. That means all those boys will be taken well, up the streets. Uh, yes, understand. Mm. So if it can be replicated all over Nigeria with all the sports being, but I'm saying to you, Boko Haram and uh, all these. Uh, uh, well, I don't mind. I, I mean, I first, get involved in uh, crime. crime taking off the streets. Taking off the streets. So mm. we mm. need to support sports, all sports, so that our boys can do well and bring glory to the to the nation. Mm. Well, I'm told my time is up. And uh, Remy, I wish you all the best. Gifted Cole, uh, champion. I wish you all the best. I hope this best stays with you for as long as you want.
Yes, and I hope you also make plenty of money. You will be fighting. Uh, yeah, when are you, what's, the, what's the next thing, next in line for you in yeah, a minute? I'm going to be fighting April the 18th in Ghana. I April 18th in yeah, Ghana. Somebody from Russia. So I hope. You are fighting a Russian. Yeah, it's going to be live on DSTV. Okay. So um, we'll let everybody now be aware About of the fight. fight. So I, I want Nigerians to come out, come support, come watch. Mm. Gifted, I will do it again April 18. April 18 in Ghana, in Ghana. Gifted is fighting again, representing Nigeria. Gifted, we wish you all the best thank of luck. Thank you very much. And pray that you knock that Russian out and keep your belt. Yes, thank you very much. Mm. All right, as we close the show, let me end with the story of Lebron James. They call him King James. Miami hits Lebron James wearing a protective mask to shield his broken nose. We remember we talked about that uh, last week with um, uh, Sonny Young. Plundered a